Central Bank of Nigeria's way of handling ways and means, a loan facility through which it finances government's budget shortfalls in the last seven years, has been described as reckless and illegal. Under the former governor of the CBN, Godwin Mayfield, there was a report of fraud lens of the facility which ought not to exceed 5% of revenue of the previous fiscal year. Our correspondent, Lebby Joseph, filed in this report. Outstanding amount of 23.8 trillion naira debt granted by the Central Bank of Nigeria under its ways and means advances to the federal government is completely contrary to the provisional regulatory measure guiding the facility. Well, there is a provision in CBN Act of 2007, which is actually Section 38. Section 38.1 uh, provides that CBN can advance money to government for the purpose of financing short-term deficits in budget revenue. That is where that is where you have the provision in the CBA Act. And according to the law, it was criminal. Um, we have um, the CBN Act and the Financial Responsibility Act. Co combine the provisions of those two acts and what you find is that there is no government that is allowed to use the ways and means beyond 5% of the previous year's revenue. Um, standard federal government revenue profile over the last, let's say, average over the last four years has been about, let me be generous and say 6 trillion naira. There are revelations that senior officials of CBN and government officials padded what the former president, Muhammad Buhari, approved with 198 billion, 963 million, 162,187 naira. And the instances where no approvals were received from the former president, and 500 billion naira is taken and debited to ways and means which is totally flagrant of the rules and regulations. Bottom line implication is they broke lay down rules. They broke the provisions of the CBN Act of 20, 2007, which like I told you is very specific. And again, I should also tell you, subsection three of that section 38 also provides that whatever amount is learned, in advance of government must be paid back within the financial year that that money was advanced. But I think it's also important to point out that this was not just a Buhari thing. This has been a long-standing tradition. You know, the recourse to ways and means, even from under uh, military days. You know, so this is something that has been abused. I think it was cleaned up to a certain degree under the under uh, the Obasanjo administration. Um, but then, after that, we started, uh, you know, racking it up again until here yeah, we now are. Consequentially, the actions and undertaking of the Central Bank of Nigeria in recent times could not be totally ruled out for the cause of the current economic quagmire in the country. When you do ways and means boring like this, you are inflating the economy. You're pushing liquidity into the economy. Liquidity, if not well managed, will do what? It will drive up inflation. And that is one of the causes of the current situation that we have, where we have inflation at almost 27%. So having, you know, this type of extreme, you know, 26 trillion naira as against a potential maximum of less than 1 trillion. You know, in fact, the uh, amount allowed under law based on, our, um, on the revenue profile of the government is less than... 300 billion naira, you know, so having these types of excesses, was, um, there is no way that that will not have an adverse effect on the economy.